In this video, we are going to solve a previous gate problem related to steady state error when the input is unit ramp. So, we already done some problems related to the same topic by using simple tabular form. So, before getting into that shortcut table, so we use it to solve by using normal process here. So, if the closed loop transfer function T of s of a unity negative feedback system is given by T of s is equivalent to given function, the steady state error for a unit ramp input is, they are asking what is the steady state error when the input is unit ramp. Now, you can see here they given T of s is equivalent to a n minus 1 into s plus a n divided by s power n so and so they given. So, if you want to calculate steady state error that means ESS when the input is unit ramp means that is the steady state error or, uh, not steady state error. So, the steady state error when the input is unit ramp is also called as steady state velocity error. So, that can be calculated by using formula 1 by kV. So, here kV is equivalent to limit s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s where g of s will be the open loop transfer function, but they given closed loop transfer function t of s. So, here closed loop transfer function c of s by r of s is equivalent to t of s is equivalent to they given some transfer function. So, here I want to get my open loop transfer function in terms of T of S. So, generally closed loop transfer function is equivalent to G of S by 1 plus G of S into H of S. So, here you know that this is a unity negative feedback system, unity negative feedback system. So, for negative feedback system we need to consider plus. So, that is a unity feedback system. So, that is why H of S is equivalent to 1. So, this is closed loop transfer function of a unity negative feedback system. So, here I am going to write this g of s in terms of t of s by solving these two equations. So, here I am going to get like this. If you solve these two equations t of s is equivalent to g of s by 1 plus g of s. That, that means, if you send to this side and if you take in common of g of s, you will get g of s in terms of t of s like this. Now, I am going to substitute t of s here. So, we are having t of s, I am going to substitute that t of s here. So, now t of s g of s is equivalent to in place of t of s a n minus 1 into s plus a n divided by 1 minus so, here I am having denominator also s power n a 1 s power n minus 1 plus so on plus a n minus 1 into s plus a n. So, in the denominator 1 minus t of s means again I am going to write all these terms a n divided by s power n plus a 1 s power n minus 1 plus so on plus a n minus 1 into s plus a n. I am writing all this. Now, here I am just cross multiplying and cancelling the denominators. So, remaining is a n minus 1 into s plus a n. So, divided by, so I am going to reduce these two terms. Why? Because in minus I am having a n minus 1 into s plus a n. These two terms are going to cancel in the denominator. So, s power n a 1 s power n minus 1 plus so on a n minus 2 into s square. So, up to here only will have values and here coming to this g of s you got g of s. Now, this is the time to substitute in this kV. We know kV is equivalent to limit s tends to 0 s into g of s into h of s. So, we know we know the value of h of s is equivalent to 1 and we just found the value of g of s. I am just substituting all this so, limit s tending to 0 s into g of s value is a n minus 1 into s plus a n divided by s power n plus a 1 s power n minus 1 plus so on a n minus 1 n minus 2 into s square. So, here minimum s power is s square. 
if I take in common of s square also, I am going to get s and a, one, one s is going to cancel in denominator, another s will be remained in the denominator. If I take in common of s square also, one s is going to remain after cancellation of this s with that s. Then if I substituted the limit s tends to 0 there, I am going to get 1 by 0 form. So, 1 by 0 form means so infinity, I am going to get kv is equal to infinity. Now, if I substituted in ESS that means steady state velocity error 1 by kv, 1 by infinity is equal to 0, you are going to get 0. So, this is the answer for this problem. I am once again explaining the way they given closed loop transfer function, we need to find out the steady state error. Steady state error when the input is unit ramp will be calculated by using the formula 1 by kv. To calculate 1 by kv the formula is this, but we do not know g of s. So, from closed loop transfer function we can find g of s value. So, after finding g of s value I substituted g of s, we know h of s is equal to 1. So, I, I found the value for kv. So, this kv I substituted in the steady state error. I done this much of procedure to get 2 marks in gate. Here same problem we can trace the value of ESS by a simple table also. As I told you type number of the system, type number of the system ESS for unit step, ramp and parabola P of t. So, here if the type is 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on, 3 or greater. So, here unit step if type number of the system is 0 and the input is unit step the steady state error ESS will be 1 by 1 plus kp and you need to consider in diagonal and here remaining 2 values you need to consider infinity and here you need to consider diagonal, I will give you in a very easy way, this same table I given in so many videos. So, I am rubbing this and uh, here I am writing once again. So, type number of the system, type number of the system, ESS, unit step, RAM, parabola, I am just representing like this. So, you just take the possibilities type 0, 1, 2, 3, type 0 system, 1 system, 2 system, 3 system, 4, 5, 6, 3 are greater you will get all zeros. You can see for a type 0 system 1 by 1 plus kp you need to consider in diagonal type 1 r of t your ESS will be 1 by kv, type 2 parabolic the ESS steady state error will be 1 by K. All the top shells you need to consider infinity, all the bottom shells you need to consider zeros. This is the simple table to trace ESS. How we can trace the type number of the system from given data? Power of S will represent the type number of the system. So, if you consider the power of S, this is equal to some n. n means that is more than 3. More than 3, you will get all zeros. So, the steady state error for more, more than the type number as 3 is 0 for any type of input, either that is unit step, ramp or parabola. For example, if they are asking for a type 2 system, what is the value of steady state error when the input is parabola means 1 by k. So, like that. So, here they given type number as n that means more than 3. So, you will get all zeros. Input is ramp. Input ramp type n system means you will get all zeros that is either unit step, ramp or anything you are going to get all zeros. For example, Type 1 system that means s power 1 term is there, maximum s power is s power 1, 
and here if you are having parabola as input then type 1 system parabola as input your steady state error will be infinity so like this we need to trace according to this table also your steady state error is equivalent to 0 why because more than type 3 system type 3 and more system if you given any input so you are going to get all zeros only the steady state error will be 0 only for any type of input so according to that also you are going to get the steady state error is equal to 0 or you can follow the previous procedure so if that is a conventional type exam you need to consider the process that's why i given that procedure otherwise you can use this simple table to get the solution in one minute